Hey guys, what's up? This is Blue Scarab Guy, and I'm back with some more rage. So, when we left off last time, I had just completed. I was in kind of a rush because I had just completed. I had to get back to school actually. I had just complete, and I couldn't save manually during that segment that I was playing during that segment. So that's why I was. My commentary seemed a little off. While I was doing this, oh, I should try this jump. I think I might have already tried this jump, but I will. I like how the cars just flip themselves back over. Okay, never mind. Screw this. I gotta get back to town. Oh no. Oh god. Okay, going back to Wellspring. So, as you may have noticed, I I was going to upload an episode I an episode of the vlog. I was going to upload an episode of me playing with my friend Crystal, but I decided against it because the, we were playing we were going to play Transformers War for Cybertron, but it wasn't re my Xbox wasn't reading. And then she said she wanted to play Skyrim because she never played it before. And it showed really badly. So I don't know if I'll upload that. Maybe if she, we play something she's played before. Or something like that. Maybe I'll try something. But for now. Sup, Mick? Uh, but for now, I don't think I'm going to upload that. Keep moving, my friend. Okay, never mind. He wasn't. Who was I talking to? Oh yeah, I'm supposed to go to Jackpot to give Clive the ticket to Oasis. Okay. Yeah, the one really annoying thing about this game is because it runs at 60 frames with all this detail. It's a very and it's an open world type game. It's definitely very. Uh, It's definitely a much um, loading times are a little long. You're back. Well, where's the ticket? Finally, goodbye, Rocky shithole. Not so fast, Clive. How do we get into that base? <sighs> all right, all right, here. Don't ask me how I got it. Take this access card. That'll get you past the security system. Some of the maintenance tunnels beneath Wellspring have been sealed off to keep mutants from wandering into town. That card will get you into the tunnels. From there, just follow that pretty little nose of yours all the way into the base. <laughs> Good luck. Scorchers love visitors. He's right. The Scorchers will throw everything they've got at us. Gear up and meet me back here as soon as you can. Let's move out if you have everything you need. Nah, uh, I gotta go. A, what, what, oh yeah, I'm out of weapon ammo for so many weapons. I should definitely go and buy some ammo. <sighs> Man, but yeah, I had to leave. I had to leave to get back to school because I recorded it during my lunch hour the last episode, and then I had to get back to school and I was running kind of late, but I couldn't auto save during the challenge I was doing, so I was stuck. Let's see, where do I need to go? Dusty 8 sponsorship. Okay, so I need to go talk to the Styles, dude. I should go s sell whatever I have here. Yes, sir. Okay, so sell items. Okay, oh, I don't have anything that's not other than my Pip Boy um, bobblehead that's 
sellable. Buy that, okay. Ammo. Steel tip. We need four hundred. Okay, I just spent a whole lot of money, but I needed all this stuff. So now I'm now I've got plenty of ammo and stuff. Now I should go talk to. This. It's been a long time since LJK had a driver in this event. I do hope you can drive as well as you shoot. Now go see Slim. And good luck to you. Okay. So, sponsored event. Okay, so I have to do this event to win the Caprino, which is the better, which is like the f better vehicle. Like, there's excluding DLC and stuff, and like pre order bonuses and stuff, the there's three vehicles in the game. There's the, um, there's the Dune Ra Dune Racer, whatever it's called, like the, the first one you get from Dan. There, like three buggy vehicles. And then there's Caprino, which is what I'm looking for now. And then there's the best, which is the Monarch, which you can, is an optional one. Definitely helps and also you have this gigantic thing for your mutant bash tv oh god oh god i am am i in first i think yeah i'm in first uh no I am running low on whoa ho My glasses are messing me up. I'm not going to let you guys get ahead of me. Uh... Oh god This is the final lap If I don't beat him on this I'm out of whoa ho so I No you don't And win That was awesome Okay there's the Capri now which is a better vehicle than the Do than the Doom Buster I think it's believe I believe the Doom Buster is the name of it yeah, it's the yeah the Jetter is the um is the like ATV thing. The Doombuster is the non ATV is the first buggy that you get from Dan. The Caprino is like the medium buggy that kind of serves you for the rest of the game unless you upgrade to the Monarch, which is the best one. Interesting.
No, never mind. Don't ki well, I should probably maybe I should buy some stuff. Except olive. Okay, what's on the job board? Still a menace, yeah, yeah, and then I'll try this one again. I tried this last time and did not win. I did very badly at this one last time, so let's hope I'm a little better today. So once I finish the so I'm currently doing both a Far Cry 3 Blood Dragon Let's Play and this. I'm going to be alternating them. So today I'm going to record Rage. Then I'll record part 2 of Blood Dragon next time I'm on. Next time I record. Um, outside of stuff with Austin and whatnot. Like, my next solo recording will be another episode of Blood Dragon. And then, um, then, um, after that I'll do another episode of Rage and so on. And I'm going to do that until I finish one of the two of them. And then once, and then whichever one I finish first, I will start another Let's Play in that one's place. I'll just alternate whichever Let's Play I, once a Let's Play ends, I will fill in the Let's, I will... Like, if I were to finish Blood Dragon first, because I believe I will, considering how long this game is. If I were to finish Blood Dragon first, I'm gonna... I'm, I'll am i upload... I'll record Rage next, and I'll upload part one of a, of a different Let's Play, if I've decided on what it's gonna be. Oh man, I messed it up. Why can't I n not hit this guy? Oh man, the guard lost so much of his health. And the thing is, if the guard dies, the other guy dies in just one hit. Like, I beat this in one or two tries before, but... <sighs> okay, so they're done with that side. Oh, also, you have to take out these guys. Don't worry about... Is that it? Yes, I did it! I did it! Yes, and also this mission gives you the semi-automatic upgrade for your sniper rifle. Completing this mission lets you keep it. And then now your sniper rifle is exactly the same as it was before, except you don't have to pull the bull back every time. Which really, actually really does help. Although I don't use the sniper rifle much anyway.
At least not in this game. Sniper rifle's not very good in this game. Like, I don't really snipe that much in video game- in shooters outside of actual, like, sniping focus shooters. Like, uh, you know, Sniper Elite and Sniper Ghost- I haven't played Sniper Ghost Warrior, I played the Sniper Elite demo. But, you know, like, stealthy stuff, I will be a sniper. Thanks. But, uh, let's see here. Now what should I do? Now what do I have to do? Okay, return to Sheriff Black. I'll do the Scorcher quest in a little while. Right now I'm working on... So you can talk to that guy, he'll give you some, like, escort, like, not escort missions, it's like, get to this locate. it's almost like a race, but you're not racing against anybody, you're just the clock. I'm glad you got yourself something that won't fall apart in a fight. And it's perfect for the little task I have for you. The Northern Watchtower needs to be Oh, huh, yeah. <sighs> I think you're the guy to do it. It won't be easy. You think you're up for it? I, these subtitles where they the subtitles aren't in correct order. So like it just kind of throws them all together, so now it's just I'm seeing subtitles just being thrown at me. I'll shut his door. I'll be a nice day nice dude. Like Wellspring is really well realized. I really f this feels like a real location. And the sixty frames really helps. Come on, let's see here, and then I might as well do this part of the Scorcher quest line right now. Think you're up for a one -on -one? What are you talking about? Now, as you already know, I'm the best driver in town, but sometimes I like a little challenge, a little one-on-one. -on -one. So here's the rules. You beat me in my challenge, and I'll give you a nice upgrade of that little piece of junk. Oh, wait. Oh, yeah. I remember this guy. So this is the guy that, um, he actually kind of follows you, I guess. Like, he, I'd never noticed him here before, but in, uh, in, well, in Subway Town, which is on disc two of this game, it's in the second half, Subway Town, he, um, near the end of the game, he'll, uh, he'll, b wage a bet with you again where if you beat him you get his car which is the best car in the game and has like a big plasma cannon on it beats starkey in three laps of head-to-head -head racing to win the magnum Cre caprina grill see he's got his monarch so th this is the caprina that i'm driving Oh no, oh no, I flipped. Well, this isn't gonna go well. Oh no. Sorry, I'm very focused here. I've never done this before, so I'm, usually I don't talk much when I first play a game. Or mo first play something in a game. That's why I'm not talking right now, is because I'm really focused. Uh... <gasps> No, you don't, Starkey. You're not getting away from me. No, I'm pushing him ahead of me. Come on, yes! Beat him! Take that, Starkey. The Magnum. 
Well, I've never done that before, so... Because he's... I've never noticed him saying the thing about one a little one-on-one -on -one before. It's a good thing I noticed that. It's a little something new for you guys that I... That... Something I haven't experienced in a game before. But yeah, so... As I was saying before this situation popped up, I'm going to alternate the two Let's Plays, and whichever one I finish first, I'm going to start a new Let's Play in that one's slot. Uh, you keep telling yourself that, Starkey. But, so, then, um, I'm thinking I might play a game most people play. I think I might um, go out and buy either Alan Wake, or I might buy, um... On Xbox Live Arcade, I might buy Shadow Complex and play something like that next. And I really feel like that would be good. Like, Alan Wake seems like something that would be a nice change of pace for a Let's Play. Since And I've never played it, so I feel like that would be a good thing to do. Okay, um, yeah, I'll resupply the wash tower. Let's enter my garage. So he's the new Caprino. Leave for the wasteland. <laughs> like, I definitely feel like... There's a thing about games that I know sometimes where the sec the first part of the game is more poli- I mean, it makes sense, but I mean, the first part of the game is, like, seems more polished and more true to what it is than the second part. Like, the... Like, this game has it where it seems like the environments and the overall feel of the game in uh, in Rage on the first disc is more... The environments on the first disc are more polished and true to what the game is than on the second get disc. 32 rockets, 2200 <laughs> um, of this. Yeah, and then um, on... Uh, and actually, not like not that Duke Nukem Forever was very polished at all, but Duke Nukem Forever, the first level was okay. The first level was cool. Like, the, that, just the intro level, before anything happens. But then after that point, it's just, like, terrible. Like, the graphics are even better in the first level than they are in the rest of the game. Which is silly, but true. Gotta take out this one more car. <sighs> Gonna drift it. Wow! Yeah, that's a hundred dollars in my pocket. Gonna go pop some tags. <laughs> okay. Bad jokes about thrift shop. Aside. Like, there are a lot of games that have this problem of the second part of the game not being as polished as the first. And it makes sense. You know, you want to make sure that the first part of the game where the part of the game where the wh that's going to get the player hooked is the most polished part of the game. But I definitely... Hey, sup, dude? Should reload all my guns. I keep hitting Y. Ugh. I'm sure I should equip different weapons. Uh, let's see here. Uh, I want the AR right here. Chuck in there. Nail gun can go there. Yeah, I like that. I like this setup. See, now I've got the fully upgraded assault rifle. So now the assault rifle is the most accurate it'll be. Then we've got the shotgun. Got the nail gun, which I'm going to switch out for just normal nails right now. Got my crossbow. Okay. Much better. Uh, oh, no, I flipped. That was e that was weird. 
You know, I probably could have survived that in my, um, Dune Buster, but... Like, that last encounter, I probably could have gone through that perfectly fine with the Doom Buster, but... Game told me get a Caprino, and I'm not complaining about getting a new car. That's weird, my mom, my, uh... We went out and bought my mom a new car for Mother's Day today. <laughs> Just some synergy between real life and video games, I guess. Uh, da, 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 da. Let's see, what's closer? What's the closest quest right here? Look at my Crimson Elite uh, armor. Oh, yeah, that's a oh, that's a bomb car. Drive. So now I'm gonna go do the Feltrite Crater class. <laughs> Feltrite Crater quest for Mayor Clayton. It's up this way, but up by Dead City. Dead City is one of the cooler environments in this game. So here's the Feltrite Crater. Ugh. No, come on. Yeah, so this game has a multiplayer component. This this um, level brought to mind that the fact that this game has a multiplayer component, but it's a very uh, the all the multiplayer is just the vehicle driving. Like there's no competitive shooting multiplayer in this. There's a cooperative shooting and shooting multiplayer, and then there's the vehicle competitive stuff. But there's no cooperative, um, there's no competitive multiplayer like you'd see in a Doom game. Apparently, Doom 4's multiplayer is going to run at 60 frames, even though the campaign of Doom 4 on, on consoles is only going to run at 30. Can't, I cannot wait till uh, Doom 4 is gonna come out. Like, I really want to play it because I liked Rage. Like, there, Rage has problems, but it's not a bad game. It's definitely a good game. And then, uh, and then Doom 4. I mean, I liked Doom 1. I like Doom 1. I own Doom 1 on uh, on Xbox Live Arcade, and Doom 3E was okay, but. I want to play Doom 4. This amazing gra the amazing graphics that a Doom game is known for, plus the like for like for its time, it, um, a Doom game always has great graphics, and then like that plus um, the you know new more modern shooter conventions just would be great. Also, this is a really intricate animation. Just Oh, so much stuff. Just take it before it's even done unfolding. Okay. Stupid shrouded clan. Sorry, I'm trying to get a good look at the front of my car. I can't turn it all the way around, apparently. Yeah, hit the button. Okay. 
Okay, so then... I wish there was, like, a big map in this game. There's there's only, a, like, the mini-map in, camp in, like, the open world part of the campaign. And there's no map at all outside, um, in, like, the corridor shooter levels. I really wish there was a map, because it would make this a lot easier to navigate. You just kind of have to remember how to get places. Okay, so I'm gonna go and I'm gonna complete this quest to just get the beer from the Wasted Clan. So what you want to do to get a good shot on these guys, just what you do is you drive fast, then you whip around, then you shoot him in the face. Like that. Boost it. Uh, like the sky is so pretty in this game. I look up and I see these beautiful clouds. They're great. Like the fact that this runs at 60 frames on, on consoles and such just really adds to how good this game feels to play. What's up, DR? Remember, if you need oh, to you're not gonna tell me anything intelligent. I'm gonna go say hi to Dan. You around, Dan? Where are you? Where is that numbskull? Oh. If you're looking for Dan. He's gone. He went to the town of Gunbarrow. We'll be back in a few days, I reckon. You said you'd be welcome here if you returned. I really wish that they'd have um, an expansion to this game. Like, the next expansion to this game should be if they were to make another one, which they probably won't. But if they were to make another another expansion to Rage, or even a sequel to Rage, they should have it take place in Gun Barrel. Or they should have Gun Barrel be a town in that expansion. I think people would appreciate it, just opening up the world a little more. I don't know what I'm doing, just mailing the air and teabagging. And do 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 trying to park my car <laughs> that's uh, that's not quite as bad as I that's a little bit worse than the way I park my car in real life but not by much uh, I'm kidding or am I <sighs> man but yeah I was talking about let's plays before um, shadow complex because I he it's a metroidvania style game and I love super metroid and the metroid games I want to play them more I'd love to record them. I don't have a component cable that can go with my Wii and my stuff, but and but yeah, um, Shadow Complex would be good. As would uh, Alan Wake, which is this you know psychological action thriller. Any excitement on your end? So I'm gonna let these guys stand still. Okay, never mind, I'm not. Right in his hand. Ugh. Oh, oh god, that looked like it really hurt. Well, it probably didn't because he was dead by the time he realized his head was gone. Oh, 
Okay, gotta find that booze. <laughs> I like how the whole idea of this quest is, oh, this guy doesn't even care that, like, about getting the, the booze back. He just wants his, uh, he just wants, um, people to, he just wants somebody to go in and take it from them, the way they took it from him. Like, the whole idea of this quest is just ridiculous. Okay, so where am I looking? Oh. No face! Ooh! Man, I am taking these guys out! There's the beer. Man, I really wish this is like a non video game topic I'm about to go on to, but I really wish that my that the school year ended one day. Actually, I wish it ended a couple days earlier. Cuz so my school year ends on the 22nd here. Like the last day of school is the 22nd. 21st is of course the day when they're going to be revealing the next Xbox. And the 22nd is uh like mate if you're not if you don't if you're watching this in the future in the way future um it's may 2013 right now this my school year ends on may the 22nd which happens to be my birthday as well and like the last day of school is may 22nd my birthday and the um last and the day that microsoft's going to be holding their next xbox conference is on the 21st like i don't get why it was bad planning on on like everyone's part except mine because i can't help being born but i really really wish i didn't have to uh go to school on my birthday or on the day that um they're revealing the next xbox i wish it was ending on the like my last day of school was the 20th ah well and for the record, it is like the 11th today. So, when I'm recording this, so let's see here. Uh, where am I supposed to get? I always forget how to navigate these indoor places because there's no mini map. Do I have this stuff for a lock grinder? I do not have enough for a lock grinder. Great. I want to see what's in there now. Boop. Enter the wasteland. Uh, rich. Uh, well, uh, Okay, well, I think for the moment, I'm just going to end here. I've been playing for about 40 minutes, and I think I'm going to wrap up. So, until next time, scare about. Stay tuned for the next uh, episode of Far Cry 3 Blood Dragon coming up in probably a few days. And next episode of this coming up in uh, about in shortly after that. Bye. Adios.